Larry boy, we need you now To show the way to save the day to save the town Now from the cave, the tires squeal And to the rescue comes a cucumber of steel Oh Larry boy, oh, yeah. we need you here oh, yeah. So won't you come and lend a super suction in here oh, Larry boy, oh, yeah. the dynamite oh, yeah. Fighting what is wrong, standing up for what is right Cause what the world needs now is a hero One who's kind and true and brave and bold If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know Cause what the world needs now is a hero One who's kind and true and brave and bold If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know come to the town of Bumbleburg and everyone is happy. Well, everyone except one. Help! We're too high! Too high! Oh, oh, oh the height! Getting dizzy! Can't breathe! Oxygen! Thin! Uh, Master Larry, the, the ride hasn't even started yet. I knew that. Help! Alas, Larry and Archibald's gleeful revelry is not to be. For at that moment, trouble rears its unwelcome head. Uh oh. Sounds like someone needs a hero. Oh, bother. I never get to ride the Ferris wheel. The cotton candy machine has gone crazy! Oh, the horror! The pink! Fluffy horror! Looks like this carnival is in need of a hero! I am that hero! Larry boy, thank heavens you've arrived! Don't worry, Officer Olaf. I know how to take care of a rogue confectionery device. Way to go, Larry boy. Once again, you've saved the day. Three cheers for Larry! Ah, oh, I think the cotton candy machine is about to explode. Not now. They're about to cheer me. This will take forever to clean up. Hello, Herbert and Wally. Cotton candy? All we can eat, and it's free. Well, that's better. But why do you think the machine went berserk like that? I think I may have found a clue. Ultra Sucrose Enhancement Catalyzer. Great Gardens! Chemical sabotage. That can only mean one person. Kevin the Clown? No, the Alchemist. That's right, the Alchemist. You won't get away with this. Hey, Larry boy, wanna smell my flower? Wow, I like to smell flowers. <laughs> it's a trap. Hold your breath, Larry boy! You're no match for me, pickle boy! Good catch, Officer Olaf! Ah, uh, twerns nothing. Hey, pickle boy! You sure are a lousy superhero! What do you mean? I caught you! You caught me? <laughs> I would have gotten away clean if it wasn't for Officer Olaf. Well, maybe, but I saved everyone from the cotton candy machine. Don't make me laugh. It was Herbert and Wally that saved the day. Those guys are the real heroes. No, I 
I am that hero. Well, if you're a superhero, you're the worst hero ever. You're not even the least bit super. And what dark figure is this? Could it be the alchemist partner in crime? Our evil scheme is working. The orange chemical spray has soaked into his costume. Soon Larry Boy will unwittingly be helping us take over Bumbleyburg! <laughs> <laughs> Later that night, Larry Boy attends his weekly superhero class. As superheroes, many of you get used to feeling, well, super. Psst. Lemon Twist, did you ever need help from others to fight crime? Of course not. I use my superpowers to create Gale Force wins. Oh, neat. Who's Gale? But sometimes superheroes don't feel super. What then? I got it. Gail's your secret identity. Shh! I'm trying to listen! The way to feel super again is to build others up, not to make them feel small. I bet you can't guess my secret identity. Be quiet! Turn in your superhero handbook to section 40, chapter 23, line 12. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. You should not put others down to make yourself feel better. Are we clear, superheroes? Yes, yes, Master, yes Joy. Master Joy. I know. Gail's your crime-fighting sidekick. No. Your email screen name? No. Your pet chihuahua? Be quiet! Gale sure is a nice name. Okay, so maybe I did need some help to catch the alchemist. I'm still more super than anyone else in Bumbleburg. Wow, I'm free! I'm free! Help! Help! Officer Olaf, you think I'm super, right? Not now, Larry boy. The alchemist escaped with the help of his evil partner. I bet Archie still thinks I'm super. Larry boy? Larry boy? Oh, Larry boy! Help! Hey, someone needs my super help. Never fear, good citizen. Super Larry boy is here to help. What super thingy may I do to serve you? Thank goodness you're here. The alchemist has escaped. You must find Officer Olaf. Officer Olaf? I'm the superhero. Oh? I heard Officer Olaf caught the alchemist last time. Ha! Officer Olaf's no big deal. Without me, he couldn't catch anything. Not even a smelly old sock puppet. With a broken leg. Officer Olaf's no big deal. Oh, I'm teeny tiny. Ah! Good job, Cubby. Mom, I told you not to call me that. Of course, dear. Soon Bumbleberg will be all ours. And all thanks to Larry Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Percolating peanuts. Looks like Officer Olaf has a little problem. Hey, no little jokes. Uh, sorry. The next day, mild-mannered Larry the Janitor is still worrying if he's really super. Vicky, uh, Junior, I need you to get over to the Bumbleberg City Park right away. Uh, they're dedicating that new superhero statue. Superhero statue? Got it, Bob. We're on our way! Uh, Larry? You're standing on my... Superhero statue? Ah! 
I guess if there's a new statue of me, somebody must think I'm pretty super. <gasps> to honor the heroes who saved us from the alchemist. Herbert, Wally, and Pickle Boy? Who donated this statue? I did. I'm glad those boys finally got some credit. But why are they so much bigger than me? Well, they were the true heroes. Herbert and Wally? They're just a couple of big mouths. Compared to me, they're just a couple of, of minis. Just a couple of, of minis. Hey, my donut is growing. Cool. Wally? Is this heaven? No, it's a jelly field. Ah! Hey, officer. Oh, uh, I brought some friends for you. Give us our donuts back. Whatever your twisted plan is, Alchemist, Larry Boy will stop you. On the contrary, Larry Boy is helping us. Oh, Mom, it's you. Yes, Cobby. Now, why don't we show the officer how we plan on taking over Bumbleburg? Gunny popcorn? Quiet! First, you sabotage the cotton candy machine to lure Larry Boy to the carnival. Ah! Then, we sprayed Larry Boy with a special chemical that I designed. It has a very interesting effect. Now, every time Larry Boy puts someone down to build himself up, part of the chemical escapes and shrinks that victim. Mom, I'm telling a story. That's right, Cobby. You tell it. Mom! Of course, he is the alchemist. Then, Mother Pearl tricked Larry Boy into feeling unsuper. Before long... Larry Boy was putting others down to build himself up. I wanted to say that part. Go ahead, Cobby. Never mind. Just... Just show the next slide. Uh. Mom! How did that get in there? Oh, you were so cute when you were a baby. Anyway, soon the whole town will be shrunk. And I, the alchemist, will rule Bumbleberg. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we shall let Larry Boy finish what he started. Somebody help me! Help! Help! Oh, help! What's wrong, good citizen? Nothing. I was just hoping someone super would show up. Well, you're in luck. I'm the most superest guy in all of Bumbleburg. <laughs> you? Well, yeah. Come on. There must be lots of people in Bumbleburg more super than you. Like who? Well, how about the police chief? Chief Croswell? He's not super at all. He's just got a big desk, that's all. Not super at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about Junior Asparagus? A pip squeak. A pip squeak. Vicky. A nobody. A nobody. Bob the tomato? You mean that short, round, bad-tempered, silly editor of the Daily Bumble? Why, he couldn't clean his own office without me. No one in Bumbleburg is as super as me. In fact, compared to me, all of Bumbleburg is worthless. All of Bumbleburg is worthless. 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 
That's just what I wanted to hear. So, do you think I'm super? No. Bye. Nobody thinks I'm super. Maybe I'll just go back to the Larry Cave for a bubble bath. <laughs> Archie, where do we keep the bubble bath? Archie, where are you? Over here, on the chair by the Letty computer. Uh, no, uh, down here. Gee, Archie, what are you doing down there? An orange cloud surrounded me, and I shrunk. Oh, that's too bad. But it's not just me. Using our cumulus spectroscope, I can see orange clouds appearing all over Bumbleyburg. I trace the clouds to the edge of town. The alchemist's lair. I'm on it. You'll never get away with this, alchemist. Yeah, Larry Boy will stop. <laughs> Larry Boy will never find me. Alchemist, I have found you. Crack. Mother! Larry Boy, we prepared a surprise for you in case you showed up. We did? I mean, uh, we did! The Altered Ego Machine. The Altered Ego Machine. The Altered Ego Machine. What's an Altered Ego Machine? It takes your supercharged ego cloud and turns it into a supercharged version of yourself! <gasps> oh, Altered Ego. Yuck! Larry Boy! Don't worry, citizen! I'm sick! Ah! <laughs> 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 making someone else feel small. You only make alter ego stronger! Every time I try to build myself up by making someone else feel small? That sounds familiar. The way to feel super again is to build others up, not to make them feel small. Oh yeah, I remember. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exhausted. Bok Choy was right. I am exhausted. No, it's whoever humbles himself will be exalted. To reverse the damage, you must be humbled. Oh, I get it. Whoa! Otrigo! Oh. Don't let him get away! He can't beat you. That's true. I can't beat you. What? At least not by myself. I need help from guys like Archie or Officer Olaf. I don't know what I'd do without him. Then there's Bob. He's always had good advice for me. In Junior, he may be a small type, but boy, is he sharp. In Wally and Herbert, they're so much fun. And that Vicky, well, she's a real go-getter. In fact, everyone in Bumbleyburg is pretty nifty. I'm lucky to call him friend. You may have foiled my evil plan, Larry Boy, but you'll never catch Mother and me. I won't have to. 
わ、うん、You guys are in big trouble! Everyone stay back or the tomato gets hit! Careful everyone, that flower is loaded! <laughs> And did I ever mention how much I respect the chemistry profession? What are we going to do? I'd use my plunger ears, but I might hit Bob. Don't worry, guys. We've got it covered. Operation oh, Jelly Belly, Belly, Belly Floppy Wappy. Wow. <laughs> 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 You have always been such a clutch! No, ma, don't! Such a clutch! Stop calling me Cubby! Missed! Oh. Three tries and you're out, pickle boy! Thanks, Larry boy. Now move it along, you two. You won't get away with us, Larry boy. We'll get you yet. Don't worry. Bumbly Bird will be ready for you, Cubby. Again, you've saved Bumbly Bird. Aw, oh, thanks, but I did it with a lot of super help. Aw, oh, you're the best, Pickle Boy. Hey! Only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> be unusually quiet for a Tuesday, especially considering this Tuesday happens to be my birthday. I'm sure the good people of Bumbleyburg wouldn't forget me on my birthday. Or just maybe... Hello there, Mr. Mahoney! Oh, hello there, Larry boy. Is there anything special happening around here today? Well, no, but... Yes? Well, I wanted to run out to mail some letters, but I've got no one to watch the store for me. I'll watch the store for you, Mr. Mahoney. You will? You certainly are a friend to all the citizens of Bumbly Park. <laughs> oh, and Larry, be a good lad and help out anyone who comes in the shop, won't you now? there, Mr. Vanderhosen Hagenmeyer. How's the candle making business? Well, hello there, Larry boy. Have you seen Mr. Mahoney about? Well, he's out now, but he left me in charge. That's just terrible. You see, he usually helps me out on Tuesdays. Now I've got to do some shopping, and I have no one to watch the store for me. Well, I suppose things are a little bit slow around here, and I... Oh, that would be great. Guess I could help watch your store. Thanks, Larry boy. You're a friend to all the citizens of Bumbleburg. May I help you? Hello? I would like to buy a cookie, please. <gasps> uh, can you excuse me for just a moment? I'll be right back. May I help you, ma'am? Is that you, Mander Vagen Hassenpfeffer? Actually, that's Vander Hosen Hagenmeyer, but I'm Larry Boy, ma'am. Uh, Larry Mander Hosenmeyer? No, Lander Mary Hosen. Uh, Vander Larry Hosen. Mac, uh... Oh, enough about that. I want to see a candle. Which one, ma'am? Hmm. I, I want to see that one. Right. Hmm. I'm 
I'm just not sure. Can you excuse me for a minute? Uh, I just wanted to get a cookie. Yes, yes, here you are. watching the store? <laughs> well, I need to put in an important order for a dozen candles. Oh, don't you worry. I can handle it. Good afternoon, Ma Mushroom. Don't you sweet talk me, young man. Sweet! <laughs> Hi! Can I help you? I was just coming for some peanut butter cookies. Oh, they make them so nice. Right. Oh, oh, I'm almost to forget. I also need to put in an order for a cake. Cake, right. She's just supposed to be a birthday cake, but it's supposed to be assigned a happy birthday to, uh, to, uh, uh... Yes? To, uh, uh, I can't remember. Now I'll get back to it. Just to remember, the cake. She's supposed to read the Happy Birthday, Larry Boy. Uh, uh, by the way, I'd like to run out and get you something for your birthday. Uh, hey, you uh, think you could wash my store for a few minutes? Uh... Fine, fine spring day. Why, standing in line at Mr. Snappy's Extremely Gigantic Toy Emporium to be among the first to buy... Hola, Heidi! Master Larry, why must we stand in line on such a beautiful day? I have to buy Hula Heidi. Uh, yes, yes, uh, but don't you think you already have enough Hula friends? Well, I may have Hula Hillary and Hula Howie and Hula Hannah and Hula Harriet and Hula Hortense and Hula Hank and Hula Hallie and, and some others, but I don't have Hula Heidi. Store's open. Come and get it.
gone uh, crazy. Uh, we need a hero of some sort. A hero? Nobody smashes innocent toys with Larry Boy around. That does it. Taste my plungers, blob-like creature. That didn't work as well as I hoped. Mr. Blue Crazy Monster! La 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 la! Uh oh. Sorry, Larry boy. They're all gone. Someone just came in and bought every last one. What? All gone? Hula Heidi! Oh, Hula Heidi. Why? 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 Why did you let someone buy every last one of you? Look at Hula Hank! Look at him and his cute little ukulele! Isn't he cutesy-wootsy? Oh, take him away! I can see what he's thinking behind his pleasant Hawaiian smile. You don't have Hula Heidi. You don't have all of us. Well, uh, Master Letty, you can keep jumping in the mud, but I'm going to go get ready. Ready for what? Why, tonight is the first night of the Bumbleberg Yodeling Festival. And best of all, Einger Wobblethroat is performing. Einger Wobblethroat? He's my favorite yodeler of all time. I've got to go get ready. Wait, Master Letty, you drag mud all over the carpets. Oh. Citizens of Bumbleberg, let's have a special Bumbleberg hooray for Einger Warblethroat! Here, Anger Warblethroat has been yodel napped. This looks like a job for Larry Boy. Don't worry, Mayor Fleming. Larry Boy is on the case. I'm okay. finds himself trapped in a dungeon, along with the rest of the world's great yodelers. Where am I? Welcome to my castle. I am Gretchen von Grossam, cruel ruler. Of Zorkinia, Scourge of Bumleberg, Stealer of Yodelers, and Schnappy Dresser. Why have you kidnapped me? I use my fortune to get whatever I want. I love yodeling so much that I decided to kidnap yodelers so they can yodel only for me. That's pretty greedy. And once I started yodel napping, I realized that if I was going to be truly happy, 
I would have to yodel nap all the world's great yodelers. Well, I don't perform for yodel nappers. Oh, I think you will. Ugh. Smelt flavored pudding. The next day, mild-mannered Larry heads to work at the Daily Bumble. Remember, Master Larry, if any of the reporters have any news about the yodel napper, hold the mop up to their mouth. Why would I want to do that? Because the microphone in your mop will transmit the information to the Larry computer, where we can analyze the data. Over and out, and over. Neoki good. Mop, make Larry go. Whoopsie down, bonk, boo on head. Owie bad. <laughs> oh, Larry, you always crack me up. <laughs> what a cucumber. I want every available reporter on this yodel napper story. This is the biggest story we've had since Officer Olaf glued his mustache to the garbage truck. I heard this goes even deeper than just the Bumbleberg Yodeling Festival. Yeah. Yodelers are disappearing all over the world. And all the usual supervillains, Awful Alvin, The Alchemist, Lampy, are already in jail. Hmm. Looks like we've got a dastardly new yodel napping supervillain on the loose. Hey, that sounds like a good headline. Oh, Larry, what are you doing? Oh, um, I, uh, I, I thought I saw some grime on your face. <laughs> Larry! Sorry. Don't mop me ever again, uh, unless I specifically ask you to. Well, what are you waiting for? This story isn't going to report itself. I'm afraid this is worse than we thought. No one seems to know who the Yodel Napper is. Maybe Master Choi will have some good advice. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would someone yodel nap my sweet, melodious anger warm throat? <laughs> you think he's gonna be all right? Don't know. Warble throat was Master Choi's favorite. I hope he's okay. I was gonna ask him some advice after class. Buck Choi okay? Uh, yes, I'm all right. Please forgive me. As a former superhero, I face tougher situations than this. Tonight, I want to tell you heroes about the dangers of materialism. A hero should not base their happiness on material things. Can anyone give me examples of material things? Money? Correct, Lemon Twist. Fancy utility belts? Supersonic stealth planes. Good, good, Dark Crow. Any more? Uh, the complete works of Anger Warble Throat on CD. <laughs> Anger. Oh, Anger. My ears long for your golden happy sound. What? Um, sir, would you like to take a short break? No. I will finish the lesson. <clears throat> if all you want in life is more material things, you will be consumed by greed. You will always want more and more, and that will make you miserable. <sighs> Thank you. Now, turn in your superhero handbooks to section 21, paragraph 5, line 10. Whosoever loves money never has money enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. Think well upon this lesson, heroes. Are there any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Who do you think you'll nap anger warble? Ow. Um. Ow. Never mind. Ow. 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 So, did Bok Choi have any ideas how to catch the yodel napper? Well, no. I see. Uh, no matter. I came up with a splendid plan myself. You did? What is it? What's the plan? Tell me the plan. 
this is the plan? Uh, well, yes. Uh, you're going to pose as a famous yodeler named Noodle Blabberbop. Oh, I like the name Blabberbop. It's fun to say. Blabberbop, Blabberbop, Blabberbop. Uh, yes. Uh, then, as Noodle, you will hold a concert and allow yourself to be yodel napped. But Archie, I don't want to be yodel napped. Well, it's all part of the plan. Uh, you'll escape and rescue the yodelers with the help of some wonderful gadgets I've installed in this toy sheep. <laughs> Do you understand the plan? Blabberbop. 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 May I have the funny section? Cease your chatter and yodel for me. Yodel boy. Yodelay hoo hoo. Yodelay. What's this? Another yodeler holding a concert in Bumbly Bug? I must have him. But Greta, don't you think that. Who told you to stop yodeling? <laughs> This noodle blabberbop says he's not the least little itty bitty bit afraid of being yodel napped. Well, we'll just see about that. I am overjoyed beyond belief to introduce the talented noodle blabberbop and his sheep. <laughs> I mean, Noodle. What's wrong? Everyone was looking at me. Well, of course. And they came to see you yodel. But Archie, I just remembered. I don't know how to yodel. But you don't have to yodel. The yodel napper will yodel nap you. So, um... <clears throat> Did you hear the one about the one-eyed pirate and the cantaloupe? Come on, yodel already! Where is that yodel napper? <clears throat> okay, here it goes. <clears throat> yodel, 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 yodel. He's not even yodeling. He's just saying the word yodel over and over. Ooh. Hey, I don't care how bad he is, we do not throw tomatoes in this town. Things are looking pretty bad for Larry, uh, Noodle. So he realizes he has to do something. So he does the only thing he can think of. He begins to fog dance. They love my dancing. They love me. I fog my way right into their hearts. No, no, not now. Oh, my! What kind of bad, bad person would steal a sheep? At last, I have the great yodeler, Nural Blababa! Greta Von Grossum, so you're the yodel napper. That's right! Now stop talking and yodel for me. Sorry, but I can't yodel. Wrong answer. I got putting down my later hosen. Yodel, Noodle. Yodel. I can't yodel because I... Just give me a second to that. I can do this all day. I've got a whole lot of pudding. I don't know how to yodel because I'm not really a world famous yodeler. I am that hero. Larry Boy! And I'm here to save the yodelers! <laughs>
famous distillery boy. What? Hold on a second. What'd you say? She said, you'll never get away with this. I won't let you take away my yodelers. If I don't have them on, I'll never be satisfied. Ow! You know, that reminds me of something. Whosoever loves money never has money enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. Reminds you of what? If all you want in life is to get material things like money or supersonic jets or really cool plungers or... Or all the world's great yodlers. Right. If you base your happiness on material things, you'll never feel like you have enough. You'll become greedy and that will make you miserable. Well, if you think your little speech is going to get me to give up my yodelers, you're wearing your plungers too tight! Where are we? Hang on. I think I got a flashlight. Somewhere. Hey, do you hear something? Is that a wise music? With their well sculpted design and online auction collectability. In fact, I even bought every last Hula Heidi at Mr. Schnappy's Toy Emporium! That was you? I buy as many as I can, but I always want more and more! Unfortunately for you, I've modified these Hula friends to attack! Stay back! Let the superhero handle this. Plungers away! Cream pie away! Um, lava lamp away! Ah! Oh, hey, that, oh, that hurts, you know. Oh. There's too many, any, any, I need, uni, 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 oh. This looks like the end for us. Pinder, quick, you're accordion. You know any polka music? Sure do. Play a polka. The hula friends may be Hawaiian, but no one can resist the crazy syncopation of polka. <laughs> Larry boy, it's working. Evidently, their joints weren't made for poker. Now for Greta. <laughs> You may have defeated my Hula army, Larry boy, but you'll never defeat me! My turn, Greta. <laughs> it's about time you got a taste of your own pudding. Needs more schmelt. And so, a few days later, with Greta von Grusom safely behind bars, the Yodlers thank Larry Boy with their tribute to Larry Boy concert. Larry Boy and Toy Sheep, we want to thank you. Without you, all of us Yodlers would still be stuck in glass tubes, fearing that pudding could be dropped on our heads at any second. 
Bumblebird should be proud to have such a hero. I'm that hero. <laughs> and to thank you, we've arranged a special yodeling tribute. Hit it, guys.
Larry boy. Ah! Good show, Master Larry. <sighs> yeah. Whoopee. Oh, cool! It's a bumbly night in Peacefulburg. I mean, it's a peaceful night in Bumblyburg. The city's resident hero is on patrol. Ever vigilant, ever watchful, ever Larry Boy. Hey, Archie, lights are still on at the Daily Bumble. Oh, it's just Bob putting the paper to bed. And there's Vicky. <gasps> Only the cutest gook in town. You know, I think Vicky just might go to the Founders Day dance with you this year, if you'd get up the nerve to ask her. Oh yeah, like that'll happen, Arch. When pigs fly. <laughs> oh no, I've been making. <laughs> On the wing? What's going on here? Could this be the nefarious plot spawned by the diabolical team up of Larry Boy's arch enemies, Greta Von Gruesome, Awful Alvin, and Lampy? Ho <laughs> ho! My awful plan of villainous villainy is working to perfection! Your plan? You mean my plan to distract Larry Boy while we break into the Bumbleberg Science Labs? I believe that now is the time when we should perform the villainous dance of villainy! Dance with me, Lampy! I gave up telemarketing for this. Archie! The bacon grease is clogging the engine! Eject, Larry boy! You must eject! The ejector button's stuck! Things sure look bad for Larry Boy. But wait, who is this cute little guy? Uh, oh, I, I mean, who is this uh, handsome, oh so dashing superhero? I am the Dark Crow. Don't even think it, Larry Boy. Remember, you bruise easily. Look out! The pigs are coming in for another attack! Caca! What amazing daring do from the Dark Crow! Handsome superhero great from Bumbleburg's neighboring town of Lolly Haven. Hello, Larry boy. Go home, get some rest, because this case, I want to tell you something, is not big enough for the two of us. Oh. A little canola oil and... Yep, good as new. Oops. Ah! Ejected into those pigs. Otherwise, you might have had a cow full of bacon, huh, Dark Crow? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They never would have stood a chance against the Dark Crow. Wow, 
his own theme music. Laddie boy, there's been a break-in at the Bumbleberg Science Labs. You'd better check it out. A break-in at the Bumbleberg Science Labs. It must be awful Alvin and his team of fiends. <gasps> Those flying pigs were simply a big fat distraction to keep us muy ocupado. Right. Let's go get them. Let us go get them? The Dark Crow needs help from no vegetable. Ah, uh, DC? Can I catch a ride? My Larry plane's gonna be in the shop a while. How is this telescope going to help us crack open the Mega Vault? Lampy isn't just here for his pretty face and smooth dance steps. He also has his own superpowers! I call this one the Lampy Laser! Go, Lampy! Go, Lampy! I can't fool you, can I? of this. I have things all wrapped up here. Not entirely. This loose cord is a safety hazard. A good superhero always takes time to prevent accidents. No! <laughs> Thanks, Larry boy. We couldn't have escaped without you. You're welcome. Oh, wait. You're not welcome. Now that we have this, we'll be unstoppable! <laughs> ooh, ooh, I can feel another villainy dance coming on! Oh, give it a rest! Later, after pulling themselves from the sticky scientific goo, Larry Boy and Dark Crow free the scientists. I've got sticky scientific goo in my underpants. Professor, what is that device they stole? Oh, yes. It's an over-easy egg ray. It turns any inanimate object into over-easy eggs. They couldn't turn a cow into over-easy eggs, could they? No because cows are alive. Yah, yah. What about a wooden cow? <sighs> All right. The ray could work on a wooden cow. Oh. Because wooden cows aren't alive, are they? <sighs> so, what you are saying, Professor, is that they will be able to turn almost anything into big, over-easy eggs? But not cows. No, not, not cows. cows. The next night at Superhero Class, Larry Boy and Dark Crow tried to sit as far apart as possible. Superheroes, there are times when you will have to work as a team. Together, you can accomplish many things you cannot do alone. Larry Boy equals stinkiness? Take, for instance, one of Bumpkin's vines. Good for snaring a villain or tripping up an evildoer. But if I stack these heavy books on one vine, it cannot hold them. <laughs> but together, these vines are strong enough to hold the books. Master? Um, what if the town that's under your sworn protection is invaded by an overgrown seedless grape? Who are you calling seedless? You both need to hear the words of my lesson. Heroes? 
turn your superhero handbooks to section 21, paragraph 4, subsection 9 and 10. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. For if either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. When two work together, they are stronger than one. The next day, the staff of the Daily Bumble newspaper visits a new exhibit at the Bumbly Bird Museum of History and really old stuff. Wow, this new exhibition on the ancient pharaohs is great! I'm getting so many good photos! Here, take this shot. My headline can be, me and my mummy. Uh, that's fine for the school paper, Junior, but it's not the kind of story that sells in Bumbleburg. I, I wish something exciting would happen around here. Concrete walls cannot keep us out now that we have the power of the over-easy egg lay. Prepare to fire! <gasps> the wall, it's turning into over-easy eggs! The forbidden treasures of the Bumblebee Museum of History and the really old stuff are now ripe for the taking! You'll never get away with this! Larry Boy will stop you! Oh, Lampy! Doesn't this villainy just make you feel like dancing? One more dance step, and I'll serve you on toast with a side of bacon. <laughs> now this is what I call news. If I could get free, I could snap a front page photo of the villains. I wonder what's in here. I hope it's filled with diamonds, or rubies, or a fondue set. I love fondue. Caca! Prepare to eat crowbar! On guard! Stay out of my way, lady boy. Ah. I told you, huh. this is my case. I don't have to. <gasps> Look out! Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Larry boy! Help! Let's get out of here. Oh, we're gone. <clears throat> Vicky, I want to ask you something about the Founders Day dance. Yes, Larry boy? What is it? Um, this year... Are they going to have refreshments? You know, like hot fudge sundaes at the dance? Did you say dance? I was born to dance. Hey, you mind? Yoo-hoo! I thought you might like to know that you're about to become victims of a concentrated blast of pure villainy! Your over-easy egg rig cannot hurt us! <laughs> We're not wooden cows! Uh, right. Uh, but it will work quite nicely on your super costumes! Better cheesh your super costumes! Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. The Dark Crow will stop your custom or no. You two super losers, let us go about our villainous villainy, or the newspaper gal gets egged. Larry Boy! With the egg timer running out on Vicky and on the safety of all Bumbleburg, Larry Boy and Dark Crow wipe the egg off their faces and get back to work. These costumes won't exactly strike fear into the hearts of evil doers. Greta and Awful Alvin have Vicky. We don't have time to be concerned about fashion. Our heroes return to the lab to seek help from Professor Flurbleblub. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> After they stop laughing at their new costumes. Well, we may have a way to help. The over-easy egg ray gun is made from the only substance strong enough to resist the ray's power. That is why the ray gun itself does not turn into over-easy eggs, yes? Yeah, it's made from aganium. And we have used the same metal to create this. The Bunnybot 3000, the ultimate in over-easy egg ray fighting technology. But... Why is it shaped like a bunny? Well, we think bunnies are real cute. There's only one problem. We only had enough aganium to make one bunny butt. You'll have to share. Share? No hip-hopping bunny trailing way. This is my case. And it's my city. <sighs> you know, you are right. Your shoes are tight. Hey. Any shoes. I don't even have feet. It is such a conundrum, no? Adios, amigo. Vicky, have no fear. The Dark Crow is coming to save you. were floating around town, turning things into eggs, just because they could, and just because they were bad. <laughs> I simply love being bad. It makes me shimmy all over. I shimmy with badness. Look, up in the sky. It's a vet balloon! It's a metallic flying fish! Whoa! It's a cucumber wearing pajamas attached to a bunny-shaped robot? It's Larry Boy! Hulk villains! Your days of foul deeds are basically over. Don't you mean all that easy? What? How can this be? Looks like you're heading to the hothouse, my friends, to do some hard-boiled time out. It's my turn to use the bunny butt. You gotta fly in here. Oh, please. You got to fly in here. That doesn't count. I've got an awful idea. Welcome to my secret lair! Don't worry, Vicky. I'll get us out of this. You? Ha! I once again laugh in your vegetable face. Only a fruit like me can save us now. I'm afraid no one can save you. For you see, with just a flip of the switch, the over-easy egg ray turns that sphinx into a big glop of eggs, which will plop down into the skillet. You're about to become the world's biggest superhero and Vicky Omelette! Okay, see how you mess up my plans. Make me wear paper bags over my head. My anger for you is enraging largely as we speak, mi amigo. What about the way you try and take over my superhero territory? And the girl I'm inviting to the Founders Day dance? Vicky, tell him that. The Dark Crow is your favorite. Both of you, stop it! Look! Say goodbye forever! No! I, Awful Alvin, the most awful mind of our time, should be allowed to finish them off. Nine! I waited too long for this moment to let a smelly little onion flip the switch. Such an awful deed as this should only be done by the most awful villain. And I could out-awful you with one root behind my back. You know, 
If they just quit arguing, they could have finished us off by now. Yeah, they would both get what they want if only they'd work together. When two work together, they are stronger than one. What are we doing? We should have been working together. Side by side, mi amigo. Okay, okay. Uh, why don't we vote on who gets to throw the switch? Fine. But Lappy's vote doesn't count. Oh, of course it counts. He's heating the skillet. Guys, I, I think if we can bump the telescope just right, we might have a chance. You know, you're pretty smart for someone who's never been to a superhero class. <gasps> It's your turn, Larry boy. I did get to fly it here, after all. <laughs> Give up, villain! Prepare to get beaten! Yeah, Larry boy! That's my hombre verde! Just working with you, partner. Let's stop Greta Von Gruesome together. Sorry, boys. You missed. <laughs> Sorry, evildoers. This time, things didn't turn out sunny side up for you. And so, with the villainous threesome safely in jail, Larry Boy and Darkrow return the over-easy egg ray to the Bumbleberg Science Labs. We want you all to know we did this together, as a team. Because when two people work together, they're more powerful than either one of them is alone. Oh, I can see the headline now. Teamwork tosses bad guys salad. Or, 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 united we stand. Divided, we get egg on our faces. Was there something you wanted to ask me about Founders Day, Larry Boy? Oh, wow. John Blank's here. Didn't you want to ask me to the Founders Day dance, Larry Boy? Oh, right. I'd love to go with you. Wow. Maybe we could go have a nice dinner together first. Wait for me, Larry boy. We are some team, are we not? We must do everything together now. I will show you how to dance because I am the Dark Crow. I have a very talented choreographer as you should meet. She does all my music. And this, superheroes, is how we trap three supervillains in one fell swoop. Now, before we adjourn, I need one superhero for an assignment. Do I have a volunteer? Oh, oh, pick me! Pick me! Ah, Larry Boy. Yes. Ready, willing, and able for my assignment, Master Joy. Larry Boy, your eagerness will help you with your task. I would like you to clean these erasers. <gasps> Class dismissed. Uh, Larry boy want to come to amusement park? Oh yes, why don't you join us once you finish? Sure, once I finish. Would you like 
like to do first, Electro Melon? Bumper cars! <laughs> tisk tisk. I'll fix it. Oops. <laughs> Should be sour grape. You win back. Me fix your mess. My mess. I'll sweep up your clutter in a jiffy. No! Me fix mess! <laughs> you couldn't fix a flat tire! <gasps> Stop! Look what you're doing! need to work together to fix this. Larry Boy is right. Me sorry. <laughs> mm. Thanks, guys. Popcorn good? Yummy. How's the cotton candy? Mm -hmm.